Tonight, we are learning about everything that has to do with the silkscreen stencils and the Mylar stencils. These are self, they're, they've got some adhesive on the back, some sticky on the back, so they're gonna stick to whatever you're working with. These, I like to use painter's tape with. I keep them in their original packaging because it just helps to protect them. Should I break into some opera, Cheryl? No, not, not right now, not right now. We're gonna be working with patina, the metallics, gilding wax, mousse. So with the silk screen stencils, they already have that adhesive. You don't even have to worry about it. I have, they say 10 times use. I've used it more than 10, but I take really good care of mine. I keep them in the original packaging. When I use them, you wash them, you put them sticky side up to dry, and then I put it right back in here to where it looks like new. Oh yeah, you're in East Tennessee. I remember that because you were talking about that auction, Sue. I just didn't want you to be hitting my auction here in Texas. That's all, I was just selfish that way. We're gonna start with the silk screen stencil first. So this board right here is the back of a dresser that I chose not to pursue. It's heavy handed painters unite. This is the mosaic silk screen stencil. Each of your packages is gonna have three sheets. This is a well-loved page. But you can see I clean them really good every time. This one is beyond a well-loved page. I have used this. You can see it's I, I, it's it still sticks to furniture. But like I said, it's it's a well-loved. I mean, this is some mousse down here. I'm actually I learned a new trick from my my friend Ladon from Ladon's Recreations in Waxahachie today about how to clean this off. But I left it on here because y'all are going to get to see my kitchen in a minute. We're going to go take this off. I'm going to show you how to clean them all, take care of them all. You know, just keep them in really good condition so that you can get your money's worth. We're going to start out by using the patina. So I'm just going to plop it up here. Start out with copper. Look at how gorgeous that is. So get a tiny bit on my brush. Because it's got that screen on it, you want to work the paint in that screen. I like swirly motions. That's just my natural inclination. And you know what, for good measure, we are going to do all of these. We'll do some with the copper and some with the iron. Here's the iron. It's this lovely gray. So we have iron patina paint. I'm just getting a tiny, you know, it's not, that's not a whole, whole lot. And let's go around here. Get this worked into these silk screens here. All of this is still wet. We're gonna pull that off. Okay, see, we just used part of the silk screen stencil. You have your blue spray and the green spray. And I'm gonna spray them both like I'm Clint Eastwood out of the Wild Wild West. Yep, there we go. There's copper, bronze, and iron patina. You spray the Blue spray with the copper and bronze, that works really well together. And then with the iron, if you want like an orangey rust, you use the iron patina paint with the green patina spray. And that gives you that whole, it's been left outside forever. Baby wipes are your best friend when it comes to dealing with stencils. Grab a baby wipe and you can wipe off your stuff. It's already reacting, can you see it? Like the, the blue here, that's starting to turn already. But let's move on to the Mylar stencil. So with this, just to keep it up here, I like to get just a, a little smidge. It doesn't have to be anything big. We're gonna be doing, this is Wedding Bell. It is a really pretty, just a kind of a champagne color. And as with everything, you shake it or you stir it. Runnier than paint, this is the metallic, okay? I'm just tapping it on there. I don't wanna be too crazy because this isn't the silk screen stencils. The paint will go underneath if you lop your paint on really heavy. So I'm kind of tapping. You can use a sponge. If you wanted to use a sponge, you can use a bigger brush. Um, whatever gets that paint on there, you can offload. If you get too much on your brush, offloading means when you dip your brush into the paint and you come up and it's just globbing on the end, Offloading is when you wipe it back off on your lid or a paper towel or a paper plate. So we're gonna take this off. And there we have it. Just got still magnolia. It's really pretty. Let's move down here. We're gonna do some Yankee blue. All right, so here comes the damask stencil. 
I cannot tell you how often I've had to practice saying that word because I don't know, some words you do ever just struggle. This is specific. I'm holding this stencil down because I want it to make, I want it to be flush with the paint, with the board. I don't want these stencils popping up where this paint can kind of go underneath it. I want it to be a crisp edge. So I'm tapping the paint on, and this would be what I was referring to as ghosting because it's so similar to the color beneath it that when I pull it off, it, you're really, it's not something that you notice straight away. It would be like, oh, there's something different to that, you know, because it's the lights picking on it. But we may play with some other colors too. Like I said, I've got plenty of brushes here. I'm wrapping them up in either a wet paper towel or a baby wipe to keep things um, Kristen, you're gonna have to say that word for me because I can't say it. Did she say it? Oh, it's a bad word. I hate that word. Oh, I feel betrayed, Brittany. So here we go with the diamond. And we're gonna do it on this one. Um, let's do one more color. We're gonna go with the garnet. You see how it's different? It's kinda, you know, like the, there's some, there's a big bubble. Pop. Come on, pop, there we go. It's, it's, if you were to just stick your brush in there with it being like this, you uh, are not going to get the result that you would if you stirred it completely up. So see how, as I'm stirring it, it's, I wonder if I can do this without spilling. All of these are little artist brush. I bought it like the dollar, whatever. This is Yankee Blue on the base. This color here is Yankee Blue. This is Pacific. This is our metallic paint. This is the Gemstone Mousse in Diamond. And then this is Garnet. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Mm, I got a bad habit of singing that song. It just comes out. The Sanford and Sun. Generally, because I stack high, you know, you go shopping. And for us furniture painters, we find furniture everywhere. Side of the road, thrift store. People just call you out of the blue and are like, hey, I'm redecorating, I'm putting it out on the curb, do you wanna come and get it? And they're like, heck yeah, but my husband's got the truck, but I've got the Sketter, which is our, our little convertible. Tell you what though, you put the top down that convertible and you can stick stuff in the back seat. As long as you're not going far, it's been done. My kids laugh, but they help. All right, let's hope we didn't uh, mess any of this up, right? What? Here is Pacific. In the metallic paints, this is Diamond Gemstone Mousse, and this is Garnet Gemstone Mousse with the Damask Stencil. That's freaking pretty. The final thing that I wanna do is paint with some gilding wax. We're gonna do bronze. We're gonna do this with gilding wax. Then I'm gonna flip over and show you the patina that's dried. Then we're gonna go and clean it. So I'm thinking how many dirty dishes are in my sink, but I think my husband did dishes, so God bless him. I load up my finger. And again with the circular motions. So I'm gonna peel away. Look pretty good, don't you think? So this up here is what we did earlier. You can see where the, there's blue, there's green, there's some orange starting to happen. That's, that was copper and iron with the blue and green spray. What are we cleaning? Oh, we're cleaning for sure, for sure, this gilding wax. Here we go. Hey, Nora. Yeah. Did you come here for a minute? I don't have a tripod that'll hold that camera down. Get my double chins back. Y'all say hi, Nora. Here is my magic eraser. Just a regular, I've already cleaned a few things with it. All right, get it over here on this. And it just takes that right off. So if you want to do gilding wax, you can, but you have to come clean it pretty quick and use an, a magic eraser. I've used mineral spirits as well, but this is a lot easier on your skin, I'm gonna tell you. Sticky side up and let it dry like that and then put it back in your original packing. You know, I got plenty of white eraser. <laughs> you can use it for a lot of other stuff too. That's why we, that's why we had, I already had, I didn't have to go buy them. I already have them because, you know, bald men are good for a lot of things. Works on your hands, on your arms. Oop, there's the hubs. He's like, oh, you're doing another live. <laughs> Photo bomb, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Peace out. Y'all have a good night.